Do you know how hot it is in bed when he does like noise? Hit him with it. tries to go down on me. Oh. You say I don't know anyone? Oh, man. Okay, anyways. Uh-huh. Cool. We're still drinking? Have fun? Good birthday. Perfect. Your next comedian, he's been on the Discovery TV and on Real TV. Let's make it real loud for Buzz. So deep, sex so deep. You got it, girl. You got it. Yes, sir. Tommy T's, make some noise. How y'all doing? Yeah, yeah. Football season just getting started, man. Where are my football fans at? What's, what's your teams? What's your teams? Cowboys. Oh, well, I see you represent hard up in this motherfucker. Yeah. Gang, gang. All right. <laughs> No, um, one of my favorite teams I follow is the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, not because like, you know, the team, I don't follow the players, but I follow the storylines. I read the story that the rapper Diddy was actually trying to buy the Carolina Panthers. Did y'all hear about this? Yeah, that'd be dope ass idea, you know, because you know, Diddy, first of all, he has his own clothing line, Sean John. So now the Panthers have these fly new jerseys to be rocking next year. So Sean John jerseys. And you know Diddy, man, Diddy gonna go all out. So those jerseys gonna be made out of like real panther fur, just like 100%, like shit is silky smooth, man, silky smooth. He likes it. Um, <laughs> it's a good idea, no, it's a good idea, you know what I'm saying? But like, thank you. See, everybody's for it, man. I like this crowd already. <laughs> But like, I don't think that, they wouldn't let it happen. Like, they afraid that like, he give Colin Kaepernick a job, you know? I was like, that ain't no problem, man. No problem, like if you give Colin Kaepernick a job, you gotta change the name from the Carolina Panthers to the Carolina Black Panthers. It's just, I still like y'all, I still like y'all, I, like I still like y'all, for sure. No, but you don't have to worry about Colin Kaepernick kneeling the national anthem because Diddy does music, so he's just gonna remix the national anthem. You know, something to represent today's culture. Something like, fight the power by public enemy, you know? <laughs> or back that ass up by juvenile. <laughs> back that ass up wins. Back that ass up wins. No, but then I think that'd be dope, man, to listen to all these other rappers. We get together, start buying these football teams. Then you have like, the San Francisco E-49ers. <laughs> Ooh, a touchdown, man, a touchdown. Ooh, touchdown. <laughs> man, y'all are fun, man. Give it up for all the um, other comedians y'all seen today, man. All the other fucking John Gabb and David Moore and, and uh, Katie. Katie came out here, she was talking about like her dating issues, having issues with dating. Like, I would date Katie, because oh, Katie, you know, like, she got some good head. She looks like she got some good head. Then Jason Anderson. Jason Anderson was talking about being in movies. I've been in movies, y'all, too. Uh, and y'all see the movie Minutes War? No? Oh, that's why I lost y'all. No? Did anybody hear about a movie called Bennett's War? No? It stars uh, Trace Atkins. You guys heard of Trace Atkins? All right, we're kidding, so all right, we one for three. All right. No, yeah, Trace Atkins, he's a, he's a very famous country singer. Did you know that Trace Atkins was an actor? Yeah? You, you was the only one, because Trace, he didn't know. He did not. The man was bubbling all over his lines. But no, that was a real movie. Like, it was funny. I did, I did stand-up, like, uh, like, a couple weeks ago at this film festival. They wanted me to do some stand-up, and I told that joke. And when I said, you know, anybody see Minutes War, I got the exact same reaction that I got here. Like, nobody's seen it, except, like, instead it was, like, 800 people. But, like, I didn't know that producers of that movie was also the sponsors of that film festival. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, they see me backstage, man. Uh, let's just say somebody is not going to be in Bennett's War too. <laughs> but then we saw how much money you made at the box office. I guess there's not going to be a Bennett's War too, huh? Because it failed. Poor, poor. No, man, who we got in the building? We got any military in the building? Anybody in the... All right, everybody just said, fuck serving this country, man. <laughs> I'm gonna live here, but fuck protecting it. That's what's up. <laughs> oh, shit. It's all good. I didn't, I didn't serve in the military either, but my dad did. So I was like a kid, a military brat. And uh, one of my favorite things about growing up in the military is you get to live in all these interesting foreign countries that most people never get to go to. Like I had friends that I was born in like South Africa, in Guam, South Dakota, in China. <laughs> all these places I've never been to before. Um, but me, I grew up in the North Pole, y'all. Grew up in the North Pole. Um, yeah. See, I don't really, see, I don't like telling people that because they laugh at me. They think the North Pole is some made up place like Wakanda. But. <laughs> But it's a real place, y'all. It's a real place. Like the G-spot. It is a real place. You just... Uh, you just gotta be willing to travel far enough to get there. Um, <laughs> thank you, dude. Uh, it's located in Alaska, y'all. It's in Alaska, the North Pole. Uh, it, it might be there. <laughs> Very cold winters out there. <laughs> so if you gotta travel to Alaska to find a G spot, that's uh, sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> oh shit. No, yeah, but um, no, yeah, it's crazy like in Alaska, man, because we go through this period during like the winter time where it's like 30 days of like complete darkness. And I don't know about y'all when you was a kid, but the number one rule when you played outside is you had to be inside when the street lights came on. Well, yeah, those street lights came on. And they stayed on for 30 straight days. As a kid, that's like being grounded by Mother Nature, not even our own mom, just Mother Nature. Like all of y'all kids is bad. But like one of the worst parts about being in the North Pole is there's uh, there's no black people up there, y'all. So, uh, it's a lot like Folsom. It's a lot like... Folsom. It's like, if Folsom just happened to like, get filled up with snow, just a whole big old snowstorm, that's what living in the North Pole is like. Like, I only knew five black people growing up. And that was uh, my mom. <laughs> My dad, my brother, my sister, and then my third grade teacher, Ms. Glover. And uh, I was the first black student she ever had. She failed me three times. Just to keep me around, just to kick it, just to chill, just to keep me around. I need somebody in the hang with, bro. Like, I need somebody to talk about love and hip hop with, man. They don't get it. It's horrible. Like one year for Black History Month, the students try to do a report on me. And I was like, you can't really do that. Like it's horrible, man. Like, like I swear, like for show and tell, they just brought my whole family up in that motherfucker. They just like, hey y'all, the rare me, y'all. They motherfucking cool as hell, man. They be chilling. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, man. It's crazy. I was like, we got to get out of here. So we moved. Moved out to the Yuba City, Marysville area. Anybody familiar with the 530? Yeah, that's a lot like the North Pole. Uh, ain't no black people up there either. Uh, yeah, if you was to take, 
if you was to take all the snow that they had at Folsom and then like melt it away and you replaced it with meth, that's, like just pile the meth on there, like a whole overdraft of meth. It's just all that's what Yuba City buries with is like just, like eight black people. Selling again, but uh, no, that's, a, that's, a, that's a different story. That's, if I had another ten minutes, I'd get into that. But no, I'm just playing. Uh, 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 shit. <laughs> See, that's how you find the G spot. All right. Uh, 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 uh. All right, man. My name is a Big Buddy, man. Y'all been a cool crowd, man.